This morning I was feeling a little frisky, so I hopped on YouTube and I saw a video titled Mahmoud storms off during an intense exchange with Gabe, exclusive! I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books. So I click on the video and Gabe asked Mahmoud right out the gate, what if you have a daughter? Are you gonna make her wear the hijab and everything? What if she doesn't want to? Listen to me. Islam not forced anybody to cover his body or wearing hijab, but you do or not, it's back to you. We not force anybody to do anything. But then why do you force her to change the way she dresses? Gabriel, let's settle down there, little guy. If you watch the show, you would know that Mahmoud doesn't force Nicole to do anything or wear any type of clothing. She previously agreed to dress a certain way, and it was one of the conditions before marrying this man. <laughs> what a crazy take this is from Gabe. You do realize this is Nicole's second trip living together with this man in Egypt. She went to Egypt originally on a spiritual journey to do intense meditations near a bunch of uh, historical sites in Egypt. So she went there with a spiritual group and then by the end of the trip ended up converting to Islam and marrying a very strict Muslim man. After only knowing Mahmoud IRL for a couple of months, she decided to full send it over there to live with him in an apartment in Egypt. It didn't work out. They fought all the time because Nicole wants to dress like she's living in LA in Egypt when her husband is obviously not cool with that because something he refuses to compromise about is how he wants his woman to dress. He wants her to dress very modestly. That's something she knew before entering this relationship with him. Anyway, they didn't work out. She flies back to America, all of a sudden, ring, ring, ring. Oh my God, I'm gonna be on 90 Fiance. Oh, Mahmoud, wait, let's try again. So you're trying again when you know for a fact that there's something you both refuse to compromise about and that's what kind of outfits you're allowed to wear, but you're willing to try again when the cameras are on after you already got a practice round. Hmm, I think I speak for our entire Wet Sock community when I say that we would feel very content seeing Nicole dress like Tyler the Creator from that Earthquake video because they just about have the same haircut and that outfit isn't very revealing. It seems like an outfit that Mahmoud would be cool with. And think about all the potential in terms of memes. Uh, I'm here husband and she's between here and me. It's not your business. Oh. Uh. Oh, Mahmoud, honey buns. So basically, it's what I say goes or nothing else. Jeez me, yeah, I don't know why Gabe's getting so butthurt about this. All Mahmoud said was that this is a discussion that he wants to have with his wife in private and it has nothing to do with you, which is facts. Don't get me wrong either, I love the drama. That's why we all watch this show. However, you're coming at him in a really whack way, Gabe. It seems like you're letting your emotions get the best of you instead of coming in there with sound arguments. I thought you this going to be between me and here. We will talk. So basically you're gonna talk to her listen in to me, private. Listen to me, so we will talk. Doesn't, uh, yeah. I will talk with my wife about that and we will find if she can do that or not, or I can accept that or not. Gabriel seems very triggered, almost like he's looking for a fight, and we can tell by how he almost interjected as Mahmoud was talking there. Mahmoud is just establishing that this is a conversation he wants to have with his wife in private, and it is a bit of a titty twister because this particular issue is something that resurfaces every episode with this couple concerned because they're constantly fighting and going back and forth about what kind of outfit she can wear in public. Which begs the question, Nicole, if it's so important for you to dress like Lady Gaga or however you want to dress and eat Egypt, why would you marry a Muslim man that's very strict when it comes to wearing outfits? In your intro, you said that that's how you express yourself. You're someone that has a history working in the fashion industry. You enjoy making your own clothes. How you express yourself is so important to you. So for you to place yourself in this relationship with someone that's very restrictive in terms of what you can wear, it just... Like, do you want to play the victim? Do you want to be in the victim position? Because that's what it seems like to an audience member. Not a fan of Mahmoud in any way, shape, or form. I think that he acts like a big baby, especially when he has arguments with his woman. He will often walk away, and anytime he has to sit in a feeling of uncomfortability, he can't process his emotions and communicate in a healthy way. I also think that it's a huge red flag that he hasn't had a girlfriend before Nicole and he's 30 years old. Side note, as y'all can see, we have new merch available in our store. Be sure to check that out when you have time. I don't understand why Gabriel's coming at Mahmoud so hard. If you actually watch their segment, it's clear that both Nicole and Mahmoud should be held accountable. It's incredibly manipulative for this girl to get a practice round before going on one of the most watched TV shows in America. She knew that living in Egypt with this man didn't work for her, yet she chose to up and move over there for round two when the cameras were rolling and play the victim the entire season about things that 
she's had conversations with him about the first time she was there. Clap it up, guys. We also got William Defoe's sister engaged to a man named Rishi from India. And his parents don't approve of him marrying her because they don't want his brother-in-law to be the Green Goblin. It's such a weird thing. It seems like such a superficial thing to care about, right? But I think it feels bad to me to have to be told what to wear, when to wear it, like... Every time this girl speaks, I'm this meme where the girl's like, what? Just about zero people forced this girl to marry a Muslim man and convert to Islam. Also for Nicole, no need to minimize the situation in front of the other broken toys. Your man takes his customs very seriously and naturally he would want his significant other to do the same. Are you gonna Cover. teach your child if you have one? Are you gonna let them choose their own religion or are you gonna force it on them? I didn't say they don't have a choice, but like, I said I will teach them how to be Muslim. How? This yeah. is what I and said. then they choose. Hey, Skull, Mahmoud couldn't have given a better answer here. Naturally, his religion and his culture are very important to him, and he wants to share that bond with his children. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, but I think it's perfectly natural for someone to want a united front in their own household when it comes to religion and politics. If this were a Jewish couple saying that their kids would be Jewish, this was a Christian couple saying that their kids would be Christian. I don't think you would should they get the same type of criticism. <laughs> Man, this Gabe guy is bugged out of his brain. What planet are you on? Please follow the conversation. John the host was just making a point about how this couple is not on a united front when it comes to religion in their own household. Meanwhile, Gabriel's throwing comments out of left field about force. And I'm not talking about the Star Wars kind of force. It's interesting too, because Nicole chose to convert to Islam. If she remained Christian, the family and Mahmoud wouldn't want her to hold herself to the standard of a Muslim woman. Christians, Jews, Sabians, if you fall under the classification of people of the book, you're telling me at age 38, this girl didn't type this in on Google. She should have just remained Christian. It would have solved just about every fight she's had with her husband on this present season. Why do you say it's forest, forest, forest? Like I don't like, what, bro, you literally force her to do everything. You suppress her in like behind closed doors. So don't even say you don't force her to do anything because you do. You sound like an idiot. Like. Oh, wow, some very serious allegations from Gabe with no evidence to back up what he claims. Gabriel's acting like a little baby fart-faced kid. You want everyone to accept the way you live and your lifestyle, but you can't accept the fact that a man would want his children to share his religion and share his cultural beliefs. What? What are we watching? If I was in his position, I would want the exact same thing. We would all want the exact same thing. No one made this girl go marry this guy in Egypt. This is comedy to want everyone in the world to respect your life decisions, but force your opinion on other people, especially a 30 year old dude from Egypt that obviously grew up with a completely different perspective than you. Then you have the audacity to call him an idiot after painting him out to be a really crummy dude behind the scenes for no reason. I just wanna let you guys know that you don't have to post something negative or mean on YouTube or Instagram or even say it to somebody. You don't have to do it. You don't have to bully somebody. It's your decision. And imagine that somebody's doing this to your kid. How are you gonna feel? So I wanna let you guys know that everything that you write, even though you're directing it to me, or like, you know, you have something negative to say about somebody, other people see that. I just wanna let you know, I don't, oh, well, I barely ever see it, but you, everything you write and everything you say, somebody else is watching. Just to let you guys know, I don't know if you guys know this, but everybody is watching things that you're doing. You literally force her to do everything. You suppress her in like behind closed doors. You don't have to bully somebody. It's your decision. He's not like an idiot. So to make matters funnier, this clip is from a video that Gabe posted three years ago about bullying because I guess he was getting bullied by people on the internet about being trans after making an entire YouTube channel dedicated to his transition. Let's say hypothetically I was gay and I made my YouTube channel centered around being a gay man. I would expect a couple shitters would come along and say some mean shit to me. It wouldn't affect me though because I wouldn't care what other people thought about me and I wouldn't make an entire video about bullying because I grew up watching South Park and playing video games and majority of my friendships were dudes that I talked shit to and they talked shit back to me. I've had games in League of Legends where I was talking shit to someone for 45 minutes. By the end of it, it's like we both respect each other's shit talking and then we play a game together 
together and talk shit to another person. Also, while we're on the topic, if 90% of people really like you and vibe with your content and post positive comments in the comment section and 10% don't, and you're focusing on that 10% of negative comments and actually making a video responding to that 10% and not the 90% that really like your content, that's your mindset. That 100% is a you problem. You need to fix the way you think about it because if someone's bullying you and you make an entire video about bullying and how it affected you, if I was the bully, I'd be like, oh shit, I got in his head. With Gabe concerned, it really comes full circle because he didn't enjoy how it felt for people to tell him on the internet that the way he was living his life was wrong. Yet, he's doing the same thing to Mahmoud three years later. Okay, so next thing you know, Mahmoud absolutely rage quits and walks away, and I'm not gonna lie, it is funny. As Mahmoud's walking away, Gabe says, see, when he's challenged, he walks away, and Mahmoud responds, shut up, asshole, and I started hysterically laughing. Nicole's crying. This right here was the first exclusive clip that they dropped, but I can't wait to see more. My question for Gabe is, where was this energy when your sister was disrespecting your fiance? Your sister, Monica, was so disrespectful to your fiance, came in there with angry attorney energy, and you didn't say anything to stick up for your fiance, yet all of a sudden with Mahmoud on the tell-all, a complete stranger, you're doing the most. Honor the gods, love your woman, and defend your country. Do y'all think that if Hector's sister told him that she wasn't gonna come to his wedding, he would lock himself in his room and throw himself a little pity party like Gabe did? My homework assignment for Gabe is to realize that words have power. When you say something like, you force her to do everything, you suppress her behind closed doors, when you don't have any evidence to back up what you're claiming, it makes you come across as incredibly ignorant. You are not there in their household. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You saying something like that could ruin this man's reputation and realistically his reputation already isn't good. That's all I have to say about the situation for now because I need more context. I need more clips of the tell how to come out for us to review together as a family. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. So let's create a really dope reality for ourselves. Don't compare your life to anybody else. You're a winner. You're strong. You're going to achieve everything you want this year. I really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my videos. Like I said, we have new merch. Be sure to check that out. If you want some one on one time with me, please order a cameo. I'm the number one cameo creator in the entire world. Super thankful for watching my content. Comment below, subscribe, let me be better, let me be better. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.